question. Uh, we designed this church last week and uh, there is uh, attributes of St. Jordi. There's dragon book and rose and here is a St. Jordi. It's uh, um, the world day of books, love and culture and uh, we designed it and created it uh, for our Bratislava colleagues uh, which are here and uh, uh, we sent these this, uh, jackets to the Košice and there, there they also have uh, this market, street market in the main, main square. They don't know why, why you give me the rose. So we tell them that it's, uh, it's, this is the day of love and books and uh, in Catalonia they celebrate San Jordi. So we we try to introduce this day to Slovak people and they are very happy. <laughs> we didn't know about this, uh, this day, uh, but we are very into uh, Barcelona, especially my uh, marketing director, Lukáš Bonk, uh, and uh, we didn't celebrate uh, the, uh, the day of books and love, just Valentine's Day, you know that, uh, but we, we, we are very curious to bring it to Slovak people and uh, yeah, and, and celebrate it as well in Slovakia, this book and love and culture day. So uh, this is our first, first, um, first uh, event. We invite our uh, very famous influencer Milan Bezmapi um, and uh, Hilary Ruiz, uh, Catalonian. He lives 17 years old in Slovakia, so he knows Catalonian habits and culture and everything. And uh, we also introduce, um, we invite uh, Vera Visterova, who was a moderator of this uh, Catalonia event, and she's very into Catalonia culture and this, so I guess it's very, very successful. I didn't know about this tradition, but I think it's really great. And I was really surprised by the numbers in Catalonia that in one day you can sell 1.5 million of books. So that's great. It's a little bit smaller here in Slovakia, but I hope that will be a new tradition in Slovakia. And thanks to Pantare and delegation of Catalonia government that we can build in the future the San Jordi in Slovakia. <laughs> Bon dia to you, Cristina. Thank you. Bon dia to everyone. Very happy to be here. Som veľmi šťastná, že môžem byť tu dnes spolu s vami. On the 23rd of April, when we celebrate this patron saint, uh, this tradition, um, well, this, ge this gesture of giving a red rose has become a tradition connected with a very beautiful thing, which is to give each other books. So on the San George in, in Catalonia, people exchange with their beloved ones, with friends, even with colleagues, books and roses. So we call it the day of love and literature. It's like the Valentine's Day for Catalan people. It's a very important, very beautiful day uh, for Catalan people and uh, one of the things that uh, Catalonia has always done, it has a lot of connection with Europe. It's always been looking towards Europe. The Catalan language is a thousand years old and so for Catalonia it's also very nice to go out into the world, to go to Europe and to explain this tradition and build bridges based on culture. And so this tradition for us is very nice to be able to export it, to explain it in Slovakia. And that's why we are also very thankful to the Pantare bookshops that uh, not only have they uh, agreed to make this collaboration, but we can see that uh, they really made it theirs. And this is the most beautiful thing for us to see, that such a tradition that for us is so important and has so much emotions and it's so positive that it's also now being celebrated here in many bookshops around the country. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love Barcelona. I go to Barcelona anytime I get a chance. I travel to Barcelona. But I've never been there in April and obviously I didn't know about this tradition. But now if I will get a chance for next year, I will try to celebrate this day in Barcelona because it must be amazing. I remember the first time I came to Barcelona in 1998, I think, and I studied Spanish in my school, in my Escuela Secundaria, and I came to the train station and I asked about the directions, this old lady, and she answered to me in Catalan. I did not understand a single thing. And I said, what did I <laughs> study Spanish for four years? And I could not understand anything. And then I realized that was my first contact with the language. And I, I love the language and I love the fact that despite everything, despite the circumstances, despite the history and the pressures, the Catalan people stayed loyal to their traditions and stayed very proud and, and very loyal to their culture. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's amazing and it's very rare because people usually after time assimilate and Catalan people did not and stayed still very proud and loyal, which is admirable, I think. I kind of knew what it was, but I didn't know what's behind it and the story and the tradition. I knew that there are red roses that they are giving out and it, that it has something with the literature or books, but I didn't know in detail. So this is a good chance to get to know. Books are, I think, not so popular at this point in the world, but it's very important that they get back into the tradition. And I think it's really, really nice that the tradition is about giving books and not just some, some things that you buy and throw away and it can give something back as well. So, but uh, many people still read books here in Slovakia. We have beautiful uh, bookshops that are very popular. So it has a chance to be popular and maybe get in, in between people and the culture more. And it will have another uh, value to people if we promote books more than just materialistic things. I knew that there's a big difference, but I didn't know that um, there's translations into Slovak or Czech. I just thought it's like a dialect, because it's not communicated as a different culture, as a different language. You know, it's always like, in very general, generally, it's put as a part of Spain, maybe some some dialect or we know that they have very strong feelings about the culture but you don't get it as much until you get there because just when you get there uh, you understand that language is very different that the culture has long um, yeah, long tradition that it's very strongly inherited in the people that live there it's different that, as, as our guest said, it's not like uh, Eastern Slovakia and West Slovakia. It's just really a different culture, different nation, different traditions. Soy Checa, pero con 18 años me fui a Barcelona para trabajar. Allí viví con una familia catalana. Entonces aprendí castellano, aprendí, bueno, catalán pasivo. <laughs> Me parece fenomenal. Yo la conocí ya hace mucho tiempo, la conocí cuando tenía un novio en Girona que me mandaba postales con la rosa hace tiempo y se llamaba Jordi también. Así que la tengo mucho cariño, porque mi marido también es Jordi, pero en eslovaco. No, 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 no es catalán. Así que eh, me parece muy bien que se puede hacer como la feria del libro, ¿no? Este tipo de que nosotros conocemos, o, o sea, yo lo conozco de Portugal, de España, porque se hace mucho feria de libro, que aquí no se hace mucho, pero necesita un poquito más de difusión. Es que son diferencias culturales muy grandes, que nosotros nos consideramos eh, un pueblo que es muy culto, que leemos mucho, pero luego cuando tú vas a Barcelona, por ejemplo, y vas todos los días en el metro, ves muchísima más gente leyendo que en Praga o en, aquí en Bratislava.
Thank you. 